Hello everyone, welcome to Play Canvas Office Hours, where we work through problems posted by the community. I'm Steve Yao, otherwise known as Yasta on the forums, and today we're looking at a um, at an issue that was posted a few days ago, um, where they were having trouble trying to import uh, models and animations from Mixamo. Uh, and Mixamo is an Adobe site that has a library of uh, full character animations, so it allows you to take a general character model, re-rig it, and apply lots of different animations to it and this really helps people to quickly prototype and create um any sort of applications or uh, animations uh where you have a full character to um animate and it basically saves you doing it yourself effectively and it's great for prototyping at the very least um where's it gone uh doo -doo, that's not it and uh, in this particular case they were having trouble where their model here uh, doesn't fully animate. Uh, they, as you can see here, it's like the main part of the body is posed correctly, but like the feet and the hands are all stuck in the kind of like T shape uh, type thing. And they're stuck in like the T shape. And what we're going to do here is that. Oh, sorry, I say what we're going to do. Here. What we're going to do here is actually go through the debugging steps I went through to solve the issue in the first place. Because um, I actually wasn't planning to do a video about this first because I wanted to dig deeper into the issue. I thought it was going to be a quick fix. But actually in doing the fix, I realized that there's a lot of steps I did um, to help debug or get to the answer um, that I thought it would be really good to do a video like uh, an office hours like video for this. So this is a bit, kind of a bit pre-scripted. I say a bit pre-scripted. Um, it's still kind of off the cuff, but I know exactly what steps to go through. So I'm going to retrace my steps and show that to you. Uh, so what we're going to do, I'll really, normally what we do with every Office Hours video is uh, we fork the project and reproduce the bug. But because I fixed it already, they've already fixed it in their app. So we're going to take my old version of it. So this is the old version, uh, so rebroken. So we can see like, what the issue is. Uh, so let me fork this because I don't actually own this project on this account. Uh, so let's fork it. It's taking a while to fork because it's like 3.76 gig, which is quite large. Uh, okay, let's get into this. Okay, so what we're going to do is reproduce the issue uh, that they had, and um, which is, I believe it was this model. Here we go. So let's focus on jogging circle uh, model. Um, as I said earlier, this is we've got the main part of the body, uh, which seems to be posed correctly, but we've got this, like these T-shaped type posed areas where it doesn't seem to be mapped correctly. Um, so what I did at first was try and play it and see if we can reduce the issue at launch, whether it's an edit issue or launch issue. Sometimes this uh, can help to narrow down what is going on. And come on, because it's 3.7 gig, it takes a while to download. Good thing I've got a really fast connection. Just in general though, you shouldn't be downloading this much data. You shouldn't have to uh, force the user to download this much data on load because by this point, users will log out. I mean, I'm on a 500 down connection. It's still taking this long to load. Okay, so we can see here, uh, it's not animated at all, which is interesting. And uh, everything's still stuck in T-pose. So let's go back to uh, the build here. Uh, normally the animation is put, so we can see here, sorry. Uh, we can see here that um, how, what they've imported, they're using render components. So they're using the import hierarchy uh, workflow. And on the root is where you know most people normally put this like the animation component and we see here they're using the legacy version animation and um that only works with the model component not the new render component import hierarchy workflow um so first thing we could do is get rid of this delete and use the anim component which is compatible and give it a state graph uh so i've got one already prepared here so let me put this in and, and in, the st in this state graph it's just a their basic so like initial state just to get the animation working. So I pop that in and put in what was the uh, animation foundation scene scene one. Oh, doo -doo. So let's just get this. Let's try and get this animating uh, to begin with. Uh, mix some low. So um, as I add add a note here, by default when you import an animation FBX, uh, what gets imported, uh, sorry, the asset that gets imported, the GLV for the animation, is named after the take name in the animation. 
for Mixamo, they're all they're all named Mixamo.com, which makes it very difficult when you import a ton of animations in and they're all called Mixamo.com when they get generated. In that case, what I recommend is in asset tasks is to change the name strategy for import uh import settings uh to use the FBX file name. And that way the the names are more meaningful. Just to add a just a little extra tip here. So let's go so okay, now we're in. Uh we added an anim component. Uh, we added an animation for the go with, and we can see here because uh, Player Canvas lives updates as much as it can. Uh, we're animating, so we're animating just the body, uh, which is interesting. Okay, um, so now we're in a situation where okay, we've reproduced the error, uh, at least part of the error, uh, where the whole body's not animating. So let's go back and double check what what the assets are. So normally at this stage, it's like okay, what could be going wrong? Could be an engine issue, could be an asset issue. Um, could be something wrong with the mixer import so we're going to narrow down what they could be so let's double check the asset uh, the animation asset and um, let's give it the template to preview app so you can see in the animation even in the animation preview in the editor uh, and to be honest it should be doing the exact same thing as a launch window because it's running on the same engine um, it's doing exactly the same thing it's reanimating the kind of middle bit of the body but leaving the rest of the body here okay so Next thing we could do is double check. Normally, what I do here is double check that the, all the all the bones in the skeleton of the uh, animation are animated, and you can see sort of, sort of bit here uh, where you can see the skeleton just about in the frame where um, you can see the skeletons like the rig in the head, the arms. They all look like they should be animated. So let's double check this in Play Canvas Viewer. So we're going to right click, go to Open in Viewer, and this opens up our so like GLTF uh, GLB uh, Viewer which gives us a little bit of extra information and a little bit of extra debugging room. So we can see the hierarchy of the bones, which is very useful. So at this point I was going, okay, maybe the rig of the model doesn't match up with um, the rig of uh, the animation. So sometimes people ha have an animation that's animating different bones than what is in the model itself. So we know the head's not animated, so let's go down to the head. So it's all the way down. So we've got uh, hips, spine, spine one, spine two, neck. And let me open this up a bit wide. And we've got head and I think we've got eyelashes, top end. Yeah, and got top end. Okay. So it should be spine, spine one, spine two, neck, head. And let's go back to the model here. So we've got hips. So, oh, let me move my mark out of the way. Spine, spine one, spine two. Oh, God, see a bit more. Neck, head, head top. So it. So at this point, it's like, okay, it's exactly the same rig. So this should be working. This should be animated in the same bones. Um, so now it's like, okay, is there something wrong with the FBX asset? So let me close that down. Uh, so basically, the, so the model's here. So what we're going to do here is right uh, click on that and click download. So now download that. And now I'm going to use a desktop tool called uh, Autodesk FBX Review, uh, which I use to double check like FBXs. And here we can see here. Yeah. Let's uh, see. So we can see here the full body is posed, and if we play it, the whole body is animated. And we're like, okay. So that means there's either something wrong with the import flow, the editor setup, or there's an engine bug. Um, and this is where I got a little bit stuck. Was like, okay, how do I tell the difference between those three? And that's when I called in Elliot, who wrote pretty much the entire animation, sorry, anim state graph animation system, and is very knowledgeable about these areas. I pulled him in into a quick call. I uh, just see like if I could, uh, if he could like, help me like uh, debug this a bit, and he mentioned it could be a skinning issue where the render components aren't mapped correctly to the model. So this is where we started looking at um, what could be going on. So we know this main bit of the body is animating, and then I started looking at the bits that weren't, and this is where we realised that the root bone for some reason wasn't set by the import. Um, operation of the FBX in the editor. And we're going, okay, so all the bits are not animated correctly. It's the shirt, pants are working fine, suits are working fine, heels weren't working fine, body wasn't working fine, uh, eyelashes weren't working fine, probably hair. So all those bits weren't didn't have a root bone. And all the bits that were animated, the pants, the suit, all had a hip bone or, sorry, a root bone of hips. So what we're going to do is map the, uh, these hips to the root bone of the render components that weren't being animated. Uh, where's the body? And you can see here, as soon as I did that, um, the T's pose, the hands, all mapped, that are all now posed in the correct state. So we do this again. 
for the eyelashes, which we actually can't see in this model. And hair. And now, here we go. Uh, that's the the heels here from a different uh, animation in the scene. But we can see now it's animating as expected and as shown in the FPX video, which is really nifty. And now what we're going to do is uh, reset that to the template. So we apply that all to template. And now when we preview this, uh, where are we going? If we preview the animation now, I had a slight bug here where it zooms slightly out. Uh, if we reset that. Ah, that preview should have worked. Why did that preview not work? How bizarre. Let me refresh the answer. Maybe that's bugging the animation preview. Let me close the downloads. So let me double check that. So click on that, drag and circle, go to the animation. Click on the template. There we go. Okay, so there's this. Oh, so we've got another bug there to deal with. Um, I need to talk to Eddie about that. But anyway, uh, what we've got here is the preview now showing the model character animating correctly now. So there we go. Um, hopefully this gives you some uh, more kind of like tips on how you can debug animations uh, when you hit issues like this. And uh, I think that's about it. What I'm going to do is, again, I will post this into uh, that thread because it's a useful thing to like go through again and it's useful to have that accessible in the context of the project. And uh, let me know what you think. Thank you very much. See you next time.